What's up fam? This your boy Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. It's over with a little dirt. We might as well say our goodbyes now. Cause his ass is about to go to jail for a very long time. Now I know we say that shit every other month. We say the Rico is coming. It never come. But I think it's coming for real this time. Because the Atlanta gang expert just revealed the OTF Lil Dirt Rico indictment in court. And it's shocking. Take a listen to this. And looking at the tweet that says OTF gang, um, when you were asked if that was a, if you knew this was a record label, you responded among other things. Do you recall that? I do. Why did you respond in that way? Um, they've also been investigated for uh, p potential violations of the Street Gang Act. I could have been part of that Rico. I called thug and told him every nigga I shot. Did you guys just see that? They are at the YSL Rico trial. They're on Young Thug's Twitter page, and Young Thug tweets, OTF gang. So the Atlanta gang expert saying, OTF is a gang amongst other things. And she say, why do you say that? Well, he says, they are being investigated for the RICO as well. So that means it's the end for um, Lil Dirt. And I know that's a hard pill to swallow, I know a lot of people don't want that reality to set in, cause they keep making excuses for Lil Dirt. Lil Dirt ain't get hit with the Rico, he too smart. He way too intelligent. That might be true, but it's a Rico. That means other people is involved. All it takes two dumb motherfuckers to get a Rico. You could be smart, you could be a genius, but all you gotta have is a couple dumb dudes around you and your ass is involved in the Rico as well. And I think that's what's going on with Lil Dirt. And it's all his fault. I say the moment he signed King Von, the moment he signed THF Bay Zoo, it's the end. No way he's gonna be able to survive that. You got two crazy motherfuckers around you. Two crazy people always going to jail. They both be the body. They made a song about it. You gonna sign them to your label? Now I love King Von. Awesome rapper. But I think he was finna get ready to burn OTF to the ground. He was moving way too reckless. He was ready to crash out. So I'm looking at Lil Durk in hindsight. I'm like, why would you even sign King Von? I get he's a dope rapper. But it, the, the risk is not worth the reward. He had bodies to him. He was accused of killing a female. Every time one of the ops died, King Von hop on Twitter giving riddles and shit. We trying to figure out what the hell he talking about. It's clues to the bodies that's dropping. So I'm looking at third. You got to move smarter. If you're successful, sometimes you got to leave motherfuckers behind. That's what you got to do. Sometimes you got to look at somebody and be like, hey, I love you, brother, but I'm on a whole different path in life. I see you at the crossroads, my nigga. And then he got THF Bezu with him. That's another crazy dude. And I think we set the bar a little low for THF dude. We always say dumb shit about him. Oh, he's smart. Oh, he's so intelligent. Did you see THF Bezu kicking that gems in them interview? What the hell you guys talking about? He just made complete sentences. We make it seem like he's a genius. He's a smart, dumb motherfucker. He's smart to a dummy. And those are the worst kind of criminals. That's the dangerous types of criminal. A smart, dumb nigga. Because he can convince you a crime is a good idea. But it be half-ass thought out. Like, like for example, Bezu the type of nigga that'll rob a bank, but it ain't thoroughly thought out. Like, he'll hatch up a plan to rob the bank, but he'll forget an important detail he needs to get away. Like, he'll be talking to you, hey, cuz, we finna go rob this bank. We gonna run in here and get the money. And then you ask him, what about the getaway car? How we gonna get away? But we'll worry about that once we get the money. Hell no, nigga, no, wait a minute. I don't like the way to see approach with crime. I like my shit thought out. I like my shit planned. I like my shit in one minute increments. We gonna do this. We gonna do that. The getaway car gonna be right there. I don't take the way to see approach. Have you noticed that THF Bezu always gets caught? Always. I ain't never known one smart nigga that always get caught. No matter what THF Bezu is doing, he gonna go to jail. Trying to transfer the weapons. Trying to do a hit. He been arrested too many times. And that's why Lil Durk should at least cut ties with him. That's all I'm saying. And to be honest, a lot of people are still in denial about this Lil Durk Rico. A lot of people don't want to believe it. But it's been in our face the entire time. Y'all remember when King Von, Lil Durk, Beidou got arrested for attempted murder? Because they shot somebody? They let us know then that Lil Durk was being involved for Rico. Take a listen to this article. Let's go. Boom. This is the article right here. Fulton County, Georgia had dropped multiple charges against Lil Durk, including attempted murder. 
As Fox 5 in a letter reports, Dirk, real name Dirk Derrick Banks, was facing several charges in connection to a 2019 shooting outside the famous Atlanta restaurant, The Varsity. Along with attempted murder, Banks was facing counts of aggravated assault, participation in criminal street gang activity, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. All of those charges were dismissed in an official filing from the 40 County District Attorney's Office last week, citing prosecutorial discretion. The filing read in part, the facts of this case has been reviewed and although probable cause existed for the defendant's arrest, the decision at this time is not to prosecute. What type of lame ass excuse is this? That don't make sense to me. Y'all got enough evidence you fear that he can be convicted but y'all don't choose to bring charges against them? Now that can mean only one or two things. Either Lil Dirk snitched, him and Bezu put it all on a dead Kimon. Hey, Kimon did that. I know he passed away, but I'm gonna tell you guys the truth. Kimon was wildin' that night. I didn't know he was gonna do that. I didn't know Kimon was strapped. Please listen to me. I'm putting it all on Kimon. Or the second one is, they already involved him in the Rico. So they like, don't even file that. We gonna get him with his Rico code. We gonna add that to the Rico. Let Lil Dirk go. Let him think he got off. But charges is his miss. He didn't beat the case. They just chose not to bring up charges. And I'm like, damn, it gotta be something bigger. You telling us that you have evidence to convict Lil Dirk, but you choose not to. Now, if I'm the victim, if I got shot, and I read that, what you mean y'all got probable cause to arrest him and y'all don't? I'm taking my ass to the DA office. What's up? I've been wounded. Y'all don't bring up charges against my shooter? That's the question the victim got to ask the DA. So yeah, Lil Dirk basically got away with those crimes. They chose not to bring up charges against them. So you thought he would have wised up. You thought he would have started moving smarter. But hell no. He dropped the ball yet again and I explain how. Young Thug is involved in a RICO. High profile case. So why the hell is Lil Dirt rapping in songs about shooting people and telling Young Thug what happened? You dry snitch on yourself and your Thug. Take a listen to this. Could have been part of that Rico I called Thug and told him every nigga I shot. Now why would you put that in the song? Why would you admit to that when your homie is fighting for his life? You should just shut the hell up. And I'm mad at all his homies around Lil Dirt. You know Lil Dirt always going on IG Live. He's always in the studio premiering the songs with his homies. He always talking about how he let his homies hear the song first before he put it out. Because if they nod their head, that means it's a hit. Didn't none of your homies tell you not to put that bar in the song? Didn't none of your homies say, hey, Lil Dirk, I don't think that bar should go in the song. Your thug is fighting for his life. We under the microscope. Don't bring that type of heat on us. But that's the problem when you got too many yes men in your account. Don't nobody got the balls to say it. See, if I was Lil Dirk, homie, we would've been fighting that night. If I'm OTF, and you gonna put that bar in that song, hell, you gonna, our friendship is over with. Cause I'm gonna tell you exactly how I feel. And that's what you need as an artist. That's what you need as a street dude. You don't need yes men around. You need somebody that's gonna check your ass when you tripping. See, that always been my role in the streets. I ain't never been no killer, no tough nigga. I always been the one that was the voice of reason. If I'm around some street dudes, they're about to do some stupid stuff. I will always that nigga to be like, nah, bro, that ain't a good idea. This can happen. This can go wrong. That ain't something you want to do. I was always that type of dude, and those are the type of dudes you need around you. But anyway, now let's talk about this YSL attorney named Nicole Fegan arrested for criminal gang activity. That's right. An attorney passed the bar put the work in, got a decent paying job, and you mean to tell me you threw it all away for street gang? You threw it all away for a street nigga? And once this hit the internet, everybody making videos about it, everybody's talking about it, and everybody's acting confused and dazed like they don't know what the hell going on. Why would she do that? I can't believe she would do that. Why would a lawyer put her job at risk? I'm gonna tell you how I feel about it. Since ain't nobody keeping it real, I'm gonna keep it real about this whole situation. I think he was tapping that. I think the suspect she gave that information to was hitting that ass. See, what y'all fail to realize, this is like a crazy story to y'all. Why would a lawyer risk a job? Why would a lawyer do that for a street dude? That happens all the time. If you a street dude and you got a woman that head over heels for you, you pound it right, she'll risk a job for you. She a nurse, she a pharmacist, 
all type of women working those type of jobs, risking their job for a street dude. How do you think the street dude get the bills and you know get the prescriptions? They got a chick working at pharmacy. I'm just keeping it 100 with you. So I can see this dude allegedly tapping that ass and she letting them know, hey, hey, baby, this is finna happen. They finna tell you this, they finna do that. Just pay attention to this news article. Let's go. Authorities have arrested a criminal defense attorney on charges she told a murder suspect to throw away evidence. Good afternoon, and thanks so much for joining us for Fox 5 News at 4. I'm Christine Spiro. Fox 5's Tyler Fingert has been working on this breaking story throughout the day today. Tyler is live now with more. What can you tell us? Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. One of the defendants who represents a, a defendant, excuse me, one of the attorneys representing a defendant in the YSL gang case is now in trouble herself. And I've learned that she faces a gang charge herself. This is Nicole Fegan. She was arrested today in Gwinnett County, stemming from a September 2022 deadly shooting in downtown Atlanta, not far from Centennial Olympic Park. Fegan is not accused of shooting anyone, but Atlanta police say investigators learned she contacted a suspect in the shooting and told him there was a warrant for his arrest. Investigators say she learned about that during a court hearing related to the shooting. Police say she told the suspect who they aren't identifying to dispose of his phone as police were going to arrest him. Detectives say Fegan was not representing the suspect that she called. She faces y'all see that she was not representing the suspect that she called. So you mean to tell me this lady is going to risk her job she gonna call a suspect in a murder and say, get rid of your phone because I'm just being a good Samaritan. I want to help you out, young brother. They coming to get you. Hell no. I think they had previous ties and I think they might have been a lover of some sort. I can see that happening. She represented this dude before. Maybe she seen him in that tuxedo. Maybe that tie looked good on him. And, and, and she had the hots for him. And one thing led to another. That's a possibility. I'm not saying that's true. But I'm just saying, when I hear this story, it reminds me of some lover stuff, man. I don't see what other reason she would do that. She's not representing them. If she was representing them, I could see that. Hey, hey, man. You know, get rid of your phone. I got word they finna come get your ass. You my client, I wanna try to preserve the case, get rid of the phone, but she's not even on the case. So man, I think she had deep feelings for dude. You gonna risk your job for that. Dude is wanted for a murder. They already got the evidence on them. And you gonna do that? Man, that's crazy, man. So I look at this story different than y'all. Y'all like, why would she do that? What, what, it doesn't make sense. Well, how could this happen? Shit, okay. Keep living. I think that suspect might have been tapping that ass. Now, it's not proven. I'm not saying it's factual. But I'm just giving my hypothesis, my educated guess. If I'm a guessing man, if I was a betting man, you ask me how did this happen? It was a lover's quarrel. That's what I think. She risked the job for a man. Like a lot of women do. Don't act like she's the only woman to do it. Plenty of women do it. Correctional officers sneaking stuff into prison, you know, all type of crazy stuff, man. It happens more than we think. It happens more than we acknowledge it. So that's what I think happened. This is an open and shut case for me. Not saying it's true. Let me make that clear. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying it is a possibility that that can be a possibility. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this whole situation. But I want to know how you guys feel about it. Leave a comment. Share this video. I love you guys. Peace.